Hey guys, welcome back. It's Patrick here, and this is the third episode of my Beginner's Let's Play series for Boom Beach. So let's go ahead and upgrade another building. So we had our gold storage finish up, and now we have a choice on what we want to do. We can either do something for resources, or we can do something for defense. I don't think I'm really ready to upgrade my headquarters yet. So sawmill, that'd give me some more gold or some more wood. Um, residence, that would give me some more gold, but I guess let's go ahead and do the sniper tower because that's going to help my defense out and it's only a 20 minute upgrade. All right, so I, th I think that'll do it for the upgrades for now. Again, we only have one builder, which is sort of annoying, um, but we do have full loading crafts. I do have my riflemen, like I said. I always carry six of those guys as well as one heavy. I found that this is the most effective beginner strategy. Like I said in the last episode, you don't want to have two of each. You don't want to have two riflemen boats or two heavy boats. You want to have an even mix and it helps you out. All right, looking at diamonds, I did just get that achievement, which gave me some diamonds. You can always purchase more if you want right there. And then now looking at some bases, let's go ahead and attack this first one. First of all, though, I'll scout it out. I can see he has two machine gun turrets. And with the machine gun turrets, it's a pretty easy strategy. Pretty much any time there's a base and it has two defenses, go ahead and drop your artillery and take care of one defense. And then all you have to do, drop your heavies up front and drop your other defense, or sorry, drop your one uh your one landing craft and then after the one defense is down just go ahead and drop your other landing craft so what i did there i dropped my artilleries i took care of that first defense then dropped my two boats and they're going to take care of that one with ease and i didn't lose any troops it's always important that you don't lose your troops because even if you win and you lose a lot of troops sometimes it's not worth it the game really penalizes you for losing troops so try not to lose them whenever you can all right, so now that the headquarters is down, you can see I won one medal. I won 1,300 gold and 740 wood. I did have one casualty, but that's okay. Uh, I'm not too worried about, about that. So back to base, there really isn't too much going on. We have our sniper tower upgrading. Taking a look at our landing craft, we do need to make one more of our riflemen, so let's go ahead and upgrade him. And then now, let's just go ahead and take a look at the water and attack another base. So there are two computer bases on the bottom, and I'm thinking I'm going to want to take care of those before I start attacking some guys, uh, like player versus player. All right, so looking at this base, there's a mortar in the center, there's a sniper tower on the left, sniper tower on the right. And I guess how I'm going to take it out is the same strategy as last time. I'm going to use all my artillery on one defense, and then I'll just go ahead and drop my troops and hope they can take care of the other two defense. So looking at which one I want to destroy, the sniper tower on the left is higher leveled. I know that because the one on the right, you can sort of see the graphics. And since that one's higher level on the left, I'll go ahead and take that out. And then now I'm going to drop my troops on the right. And when they take care of this sniper tower right here, um, I think the, the heavy should distract that uh, mortar and we shouldn't have too many problems. The heavy really takes a lot of damage from the mortar, so it really doesn't matter too much. And you can see, yeah, it looks like that sniper tower went down fairly easily. You don't want your rifleman to get hit by the mortar because it does do like half damage about, uh, but your heavy's fine. And then now as they make their way through, I'm just going to keep stocking up that ammo. Some of my troops will go over now. And then after they destroy some of these other buildings, they should switch around and I'll drop one more artillery on it and we'll be able to destroy that mortar. All right, so that wasn't too bad. I think we lost like two of our riflemen, so that's going to cost me some gold. But overall, we're going to make a good profit, and let's go ahead and destroy this headquarters. All right, so fast forwarding a little bit, it's going to go down. Um, takes about like 30 seconds again. It does take a long time to get rid of those headquarters, and that's going to wrap it up for this raid. So we did get an achievement, checking, checking out what we got. We got one metal. We got 1,600 gold, 820 wood. So that's enough to do some good upgrades. We did lose those two troops again, but we'll just train those again in a second. And yeah, all right, back to base. So we did cross 6,000 gold. That's pretty good. We crossed 7,600 wood. That's pretty good as well. We got the spoils of war achievement. So I'm going to go ahead and get that and get our diamonds. And then now let's try to find one more base to attack. So I'm thinking we can just take care of this last computer, like I said. Checking out the base design. There's a machine gun right there. That's one of those big machine guns that's high upgraded. And then there's a, I think that was, yeah, there's another machine gun on the right. So I'm going to take care of that machine gun on the right and drop all my troops right here. And then hopefully we'll have enough firepower to take care of this one right here. All right, so I think this machine gun is like level six or level seven. It has a lot of health. So I'm just going to let my guys attack and I think it should be good. All right, so I want you guys to tell me what you think of this game so far. I don't know if you've downloaded it yet or you've played it. It's only in the Canadian app store right now uh, from what I know. But if you guys have played it, if you're just watching the Let's series, you haven't played it yet, let me know what you think. I think it's like sort of similar to Clash of Clans, but it has its own stuff going on. Um, especially, I think there's more stuff to come later in the game and end game. 
um, especially when I get more landing crafts and I get more troops. I've heard there's tanks and like bazooka people that you can use. So I'm sort of excited for that. And um, I'm thinking there's a lot more to come. Plus it's sort of been in like it's beta testing. I bet there'll be some tweaks going on, but overall I'm pretty happy uh, and it's pretty refreshing to try out another game uh, besides Clash that I've been playing forever. All right, so that looks like it's going to do it for this episode. We got a lot of resources, but I am maxed out as far as wood goes, so I don't want to push it any farther. If you guys like this episode, drop a like and a favorite. But other than that, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'm going to go ahead and post the next episode right now. Peace out.